The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is one of the four major ligaments that stabilize the knee joint. The ACL diagonally connects the posterior lateral section of the femur to the anterior medial section of the tibia. The ACL's purpose is to prevent the forward movement of the tibia in relation to the femur. ACL injury can be the result of twisting the knee while the foot is firmly planted on the ground. This is common in sports like soccer, football, hockey, lacrosse, wrestling, and basketball. There are over 100,000 ACL reconstructions in the United States each year, making it the most common knee ligament injury. Possible treatments for this injury include surgical methods, non-surgical methods such as physical therapy and a knee brace, and tissue engineering solutions. A patient undergoing surgical treatment has a few options for reconstruction, including the choice of an autograft or an allograft. An autograft is the use of the patient's own tissue to repair the ACL. This allows for potential graft remodeling, integration into the joint, and decreased risk of disease transmission. There are currently three autograft options. The first and most popular autograft is the bone patellar bone procedure. In this surgery, one third of the patellar tendon and its surrounding bone blocks are removed and implanted into the ACL's location. This method offers high ultimate tensile strength, a stiff construct, and rigid bone fixation. This is the most popular procedure for professional athletes and patients who want to maintain their active lifestyle. The hamstring tendon, another autograft, offers a lower rate of donor site morbidity. The dimensions of this graft are more comparable to the ACL and withstand high ultimate tensile load. However, there is difficulty in healing and the lack of rigid fixation with the hamstring. The third and newest graft comes from the quadriceps tendon and has been proven to maintain adequate tensile properties and proper ACL size and also works extremely well in revision ACL surgeries. All of the autograft surgeries involve donor site morbidity and longer, more complicated surgery than the next option, allografts. The allograft Soft tissue harvested from human cadaver donors has the ability to avoid donor site morbidity, decrease surgical time, and diminish postoperative pain. The patellar tendon and Achilles tendon are the commonly available allografts. One problem with the allograft is the need to avoid the immunogenic potential and risk of disease transmission associated with foreign tissue. To ensure the patient's safety, the graft must be preserved and sterilized. In this process, the biomechanical properties like ultimate load, stiffness, and modulus may be altered. Other disadvantages associated with allografts include a slower incorporation into the joint and the potential for deterioration of the graft. Both biological tissue graft methods have their various advantages and disadvantages. There are also problems that can arise during the surgery, like graft placement and tension, that determine the success of the surgery. To avoid all these potential difficulties with biological ACL grafts, tissue engineers have begun to study alternative methods for ACL growth and reconstruction. One tissue engineering method for ACL regeneration is the use of different cell sources to grow a new ligament. Skin fibroblast cell lines have been shown to synthesize collagen, which is necessary for the formation of a new ligament. Other possible cell sources include patellar tendon fibroblasts, and ACL fibroblasts, which have also been used for collagen synthesis for the ACL. However, the most promising cell source at this time is bone marrow stromal cells. These cells show effective differentiation and self-renewal, as well as high DNA production and a high level of collagen production. Biocompatible scaffolds are also being researched for tissue engineering the ACL. A vast amount of research on scaffolds made of collagen has been completed but these scaffolds are generally not biocompatible and have been shown to be rejected by the body. Thus, alternative materials have been tested to improve the success of these scaffolds. Current scaffolding research mostly focuses on silk scaffolds. These scaffolds demonstrate similar mechanical properties to the native ACL. When seeded with bone marrow stromal cells, the scaffold synthesizes both collagen and fibroblasts, which are the required components of the ACL. 
The silk scaffold with bone marrow stromal cells offers the most effective and innovative tissue-engineered ACL method at this time. Silkworm fiber matrices are biocompatible, have a slow degradation process, and support adult stem cell differentiation towards ligament creation. Silk also provides engineers the opportunity to manipulate the silk's molecular structure to yield different mechanical and morphological properties. Thus, the silk can be controlled to simulate ACL mechanical properties. Currently, the Bombyx mori silkworm is the most dominant source for silk-based biomaterials. However, new sources of silk from spiders or simply engineered silk also show promise. The future of ligament tissue engineering involves further research into the cell-specific growth factors that influence the homeostasis and maturation of the new tissue's healing response. There will also be further research into the optimal combination of cell types and their scaffold that will allow complete clinical ACL reconstruction. Ultimately, the goal for ACL regeneration will include the harvesting of cells by patient biopsy, the culturing of these cells, then the seeding of these cells onto a scaffold, and finally the implantation of the ACL substitute into the same patient. It would require minimal surgery and recovery and generate a normal ACL and its mechanics. This may be a long way into the future. However, a current attainable goal could be developing ways to facilitate ACL surgery. For instance, developing a device to fix the new ACL graft to the bone. This would lead to improved and normal ACL function in the knee.